Hi, welcome to Inspired by Pinterest. I'm Lori Allred. I am excited to have you join me today as I browse around Pinterest looking for amazing crafty ideas from bloggers all over the world and share them with you each week in a new episode. So today we're going to be talking about writing on dishes and I am excited because I have seen these all over Pinterest for quite some time and always I've wanted to give it a try. So today I am excited to share a couple of pins real quick before we get into the project. The first one is from Design Mom and this was the first one that ever caught my eye. I loved how they they actually had taken carbon paper and traced the letters on their mugs but they did a for like neighbor gifts or friend gifts at Christmas time and tucked hot cocoa and marshmallows in the mug. So I thought how cute to make it a personalized gift and she used a ceramic pen to do that. So I'm gonna explain a little bit about the different methods but my, me my preference is definitely Sharpie. The next pen of course is from a blog that I cannot pronounce. So as always, you can actually go to my blog, alredesign.net, to get links to any pin that I reference. But I loved how they had taken and written words uh, right on the mug and the dishes right underneath it. And I thought, what a fun party idea or a way to compliment different things that you're doing or for a special event. The next one, oh, no more pins. We can get into the project. So um, of course, I have a whole entire board on Pinterest called decorative dishes that show all kinds of fun ideas that you can do with writing on your dishes. As sim and it's as simple as getting some Sharpies, some dishes that I picked up at the dollar store. These mugs were a dollar from the dollar store. I picked up these plates at my local thrift store for I believe about a dollar. Even this colored one I got at the all a dollar. So first of all I was totally inspired by a really fun episode that Carol Rice did on Story at Home about prompts and props that you can use to tell stories but we do a celebration plate at our house. But she had pointed out how often do you have that celebration plate where the per special person never gets to talk. So I love that she'd written questions that the person that it's their special day could answer. You know, th you know, my favorite colors, what makes me proud and different things. So I had so much fun doing this. I actually was really worried <laughs> that I would get to the end and run out of space, but I actually was really um, stretching to fill that space. But I had a lot of fun. Who doesn't remember writing those circle notes in junior high? So I just brought up those mad skills I used to have. And then of course, I love doing this one. This one I actually sketched from a pin I found that had a quote on it about Dr. Seuss. And my son's in Seussical the Musical at his high school. So I thought how appropriate I'd do a Su uh, Dr. Seuss quote on it and just sketch out. I'm not by any means an artist, but I had a lot of fun. But you'll notice how the color is kind of orangey. I actually had used red when I did that. So that's one thing to note, colors change when they're baked. So the tip to doing these plates is you're going to want to go ahead and draw on them. Do whatever you want. You don't have to prime the surface or anything, but you do bake them. Now there's quite the debate among the pins that I collected on Pinterest. Quite a few of them said to cook at 350 for 30 minutes. That's all they said. But then I read a lot of posts where people were saying it was coming off or scratching. So this one I did. I preheated my oven, stuck it in for 30 minutes, pulled it back out. It looks pretty, but I did notice it was starting to come off a little bit. Not, I think after a couple times in the, in the dishwasher, you'll start to see that come off on the edges. So keep that in mind. So then I finally found a pin that said, cook it longer, start it in a cold oven. So put your dishes in, turn your oven on at four, I believe it was 450 or 425 for 30 minutes. And then once you hit the 30 minutes, turn the oven off, but leave the dishes in there to cool. They take a good couple hours to cool though. So keep that in mind. And they did have a little bit of a funny odor. Everyone thought I was burning stuff. And then we figured out it's because I left the labels on the back sides of some of the plates. So those had started to melt and brown and I think they were getting, one got a little smoky. So maybe stir up the labels off before you put them in the oven. But I loved how these turned out. This one here was with the red. So again, it went a little bit orangey. And then I actually used a vinyl stencil cut that out and then colored in it and then peeled the vine off and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then I just freehanded me and you. And then this one, I wanted to point out, some of them say to use a, sur a paint marker. Now this is a paint marker. The only thing that I noticed once it had dried is I lost a little bit of the detail. This was pretty solid along the edge when I first painted it. But then after it cooked, it went, looks like it's kind of, I still like the look. It looks a little bit more faded but it's still, you can feel it's kind of raised on here. It looks pretty cool. So I like that. But again, as I mentioned, Sharpies were my tool of choice. 
One thing to keep in mind, the colors completely change when they're baked. Now I'd used really bright, fun, summery colors or spring colors, and they changed a whole bunch. Like I believe this was this, oh, this is pretty true to color. But then I have the greens went kind of a funky greenish, I believe that was my aqua. So just keep that in mind, you're gonna have a little bit of a color change, but I still like the way that turned out with the cute banners and I just tied it over here. So that turned out good. But I think that's why most of the pins you'll see on the board are black. You get a really nice coat with black and I learned a couple of tricks from black. Now Sharpie has this great pen that I would recommend. It comes with a fine and an extra fine tip. Love it. But then of course, a traditional Sharpie like this that was sold in the set works great too. So now this one, I just wrote a quote around it. Um, we all eat and it would be a sad waste of an opportunity to eat badly. And then I just added a couple other things. But I thought I'd show you how easy it is to add a stencil. So here I've cut the number four out with vinyl and I want it kind of off center. So I'm gonna put that down on my plate. Now, of course you need to get that center piece off of there. Now, if you have a really detailed image I'd probably use transfer tape so here I make sure it's down there really good take your black I'm just gonna use black now I haven't baked this one yet so we're good and I like to outline the image first don't worry about coloring on the vinyl because you're gonna peel that off so here's a trick I learned when doing these more solid A's now here you can see how I've got these weird strokes all over. It's because I'd let it dry and tried to go back over it to fill it in. And it just kept kind of pushing the color around and I didn't get a really solid coat. So on this one, I made sure that I was coloring it all just all solid as I went up and not going back over the area I had just colored. So if I'm applying that technique, I'm just gonna start. And depending on your, I like to do the edge a little bit more. So we're just gonna keep going up, not back over where we've colored, to give us a really nice solid look. Now if you like that more kind of graphic look, like the Design Mon pin I showed, then I would definitely use the tip, do it really fine, so you kind of get those crisscross marks, and just keep going up. I had a lot of fun creating these at home. My kids came in and they're like, where's our plate? And we used to do those really fun ones that, that I think they call them melamine plates, where you could send them away in the mail and they'd ship them back to you sometime before you were an adult. We still have one somewhere. <gasps> but I thought, how fun would this be for like neighbor gifts, welcome to the neighborhood, um, Merry Christmas, you could create custom plates. So then I'm just gonna take my vinyl Peel that off, I'm done with that. And this could be a little wet, so I'd probably wait till you let it dry a little bit. But you can always go back over it. Peel that center out. I thought it'd be cute if we had a N, O. So maybe you could number the plates. One, two, three, four for your family members and have a lot of fun. And of course, I'm gonna put this in the oven cold oven at 425 for 30 minutes. When it hits 30 minutes, turn your oven off, let it cool in the oven, and you shouldn't have any problem with it rubbing off. So I hope that this inspired you to try something you've wanted to try for a while and decorate your own dishes.